In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to level super fast using an amazing super powered buff that gives you 45% extra damage and haste to demolish waves of instantly respawning mobs. To set this up on a fresh level 60 takes about 5 to 10 minutes. Once you hit level 60, you can go straight to Valdraken through the portal. No prequests are required. Once there, your dragon riding skills will be instantly available. Head over to the east of Valdraken to this location here. Take the quest from the goblin, jump start, jump starting. A very short and simple quest that just requires you to jump in a helicopter and fire at the Titan console. Jump out and then click on the console and turn in the quest to the Maiden of Inspiration. Then take the follow-up quest in Tears Footsteps. Fly over to the Azure Span. Turn in the quest and accept the follow-up quest, first challenge of Tear, Finesse. Click on the Maiden of Inspiration to launch yourself into the air. If you played during the Timeless Isle patch of Mists of Pandaria, you'll recognize this quest as a cut and paste job of the code used by the Crane statue there. You simply fly through the Ten Rings to complete the quest. Turn in the quest and receive the follow-up, the sweet taste of victory. Now, this gives you a portal back to Valdraken, and it is important to understand that this will stay here forever until you actually return to Valdraken and hand in the sweet taste of victory. So you can keep this as a permanent, really useful portal to return to Valdraken from the Azur Span. But then you won't be able to progress to the leveling opportunity I'm going to show you now. But just bear that in mind. Once back in Valdraken, complete the sweet taste of victory. Complete the very short follow-up quest, fueling the engine. And then finally we reach the quest we actually want. In Tears footsteps, the Anaran Plains. Now, fly over to the quest location. It's a place called the Sylvan Glade. Click on the statue and talk to the Maiden of Inspiration. To begin the quest, second challenge of Tear, Might. This awards you an amazing quest buff called Titanic Empowerment, which gives you a 45% haste buff. It also increases damage by 45% and reduces damage taken by 45% also. This is literally one of the strongest quest buffs in the game. Waves of mobs will attack you. In addition to the Titanic Empowerment buff, you have a special ability which restores you to full health when you click on it. Now, I'm going to tell you the secret of how to get these mobs to respawn endlessly. Just like one of many secrets you will find on my Patreon, where you could learn how to obtain a quest item that removes stealth from all players. Bypass Instance Lockout to farm raw gold endlessly and use the amazing one-click leveling method to go from 10 to 60 lightning fast. The veteran exploiters viewing this will probably have guessed what the trick is here. You can simply abandon and repeat the quest, grinding mobs for experience for as long as you want. Now just doing that isn't a bad option by any means. But stick around for a minute and I will show you how to do this 100% faster. Just grinding mobs and repeating the quest gets you about the same experience as casual quest. Which is pretty cool for something which requires no mental effort or concentration at all. However, we can do a lot better. You see, the Sylvan Glade location where this quest takes place often has a world quest up. This is called Low Hanging Fruit. When you move into the area for this world quest, which is adjacent to the tier quest area, you are given an item called Fold's Training Bow, which allows you to use an ability called Simple Shot. This does a minor amount of damage, but the real value of the bow is in the range it can be used, an amazing 100 yards. With this item, you can pull mobs in the area from range. You can begin the tier quest and then use the super-powered Titanic Empowerment buff to kill multiple mobs at once. The synergy between the two quests is very powerful. There isn't another grinding opportunity like this anywhere in the Dragon Isles. You can also get some random but powerful buffs to help you grind mobs from the Ruby Feast in Valdraken. No pre-quests are required to use these buffs. Just fly to the Feast location and click on the food items. Here I got a 10% buff to attack power 
and a 30% buff to attack speed. That's quite a lot by itself, and when added to the Titanic Empowerment buff, it makes your character a beast. Now we can increase the speed with which we reset the quest, rather than having to awkwardly abandon it manually. Use this macro and bind it to a key, and you can instantly abandon the quest. You can also begin the quest after accepting it easily by using the Interact with Target option after targeting the Maiden of Inspiration. I'm not even sure of the full potential for increasing leveling speed here. There are a lot of weird buffs all over the Dragon Isles, not to mention Azeroth itself. You can also try getting a high-level friend to one-shot these mobs for you, though obviously there's a trade-off there in terms of reduced experience. Now, you will absolutely not want to miss out on the next video I'm going to upload, as this is a major leveling video about how to boost your own characters with only one paid account in as little as four hours or so from level one to 70. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell as you will kick yourself if you miss out on this one. That method is a little more difficult than this one, but it is even faster. And if you can't wait, it is on my Patreon already.